All right, our focus today is all about joy. So we'll be putting in some joyful quotes throughout the, the practice and um, yeah, have some fun. Let's stretch our necks out, stretch our chests out and stretch our back. All right, big breath up, inhale. Exhale, bring our hands back towards Mother Earth. Flowing with your own breath, just check in how it feels, how your spine is feeling. Notice the lungs expanding even more when we reach up and create a little more space. Letting go of our morning and bringing our focus within. We've got about 10 more of those. Anchoring down into our sit bones. If it feels okay, touching our thumbs at the top. On this next one, we'll bring our hands together at the top palms together and draw our hands to our heart and as we do so press our palms nice and strong and lengthen our neck at the same time inhale rise up with the hands exhale draw them strongly down into your chest and lengthen the neck let's do a few more of those inhaling up exhaling peeking your head through focusing on joy one more Let's take our right hand down to the mat and reach our left arm up. Flexing side to side, moving, warming up the side of your body. Setting an intention today for our practice to notice joy in our poses. If the pose doesn't feel joyful in some way, then you wanna lessen um, what you're doing or skip that pose altogether. Our intention for the week or maybe our day. I'm noticing the little things that bring you joy throughout your day and trying to bring a little bit more into your life. Last one, let's add on some twists. Now we'll open up our wings and twist over towards your right. Open up again and twist over to the other side. A few more of those. Letting go of any competition today, any comparisons. Last one. Let's take our right hand over to our left knee and then our right shoulder down towards our right knee and reach our right left arm up. Big breath up, big day today. The elf came back, elf on the shelf. <laughs> Big day, big day. Our elf's name is Shredder. <laughs> All the way back up. Let's take a big breath, bring our hands to our shoulders and give our shoulders just a little bit of love. So just check in with how they're feeling. And then draw the elbows together. Open up, inhale, start to feel the stretch down the back and in the front. As we draw our elbows together, give them a little kiss in front and then open up. And I bought advent calendars for my kids last month and I can't find them anywhere. <laughs> I tore my house apart. I'm like, I know I bought them, but they're gone. I gotta buy some. No one was Lego. How could I eat Lego? <laughs> last one. We'll bring our elbows in front so there's some space between them. Draw them up, point them up towards the ceiling, check in with the core, and then slide them back. So bring it forward and up and back. A couple more. Last one. All right, we'll slide our right hand way down our mat and reach our left arm up nice and warm through our spine and our chest and shoulders today all the way over to the other side, slide it a little bit longer than normal. Bring it back, let's bring our hands back behind us, open up across our chest, feel your chest expand, ready to receive some air. Hands come to our heart and we'll take a little bow forward. One more time, drawing our hands up, chest expansion. Exhale, bring it forward. Great job. All right, 
taking our right elbow in front, left elbow under, give yourself a little hug. So just practicing our eagle arms today, working towards bringing our elbows up towards our shoulder height or eagle arms where we bring the palms together. So you can see where you're at at this point in the practice. And then we'll check in when our back's even warmer. Let's open up and do it the other side. Other elbow on top, either it's a hug or it's your eagle arms. Open up again. All right, shifting forward. We'll take our ankles apart and we'll make our way into our cat and cow today with some space between our fingers and our knees. If you'd like to make this more challenging, you're more than welcome to lift your knees up off the mat to move through your cat and cow. But if that doesn't feel good, bring the knees back down and move through your cat and cow. Still focusing on our chest and our backs, so our chest drawing up, shoulders separating slightly at the back, shoulder blades. And then we open and drop the chest towards the floor, draw the shoulder blades together. Moving through, checking in with the breath, how it feels. One or two more. Let's take it to child's pose, unless you would prefer to go right up into downward facing dog. In that case, you'll move up into down dog and start with the pedal of the feet, letting the head be heavy. And today focusing on pressing the earth away with our hands and opening our chest up towards our knees or towards our thighs. A little bit of tension between our shoulder blades where we're enjoying our child's pose. A great place to be any time during your practice. Let's come back down to all fours on an inhale or up to all fours. Turning our fingertips towards our knees. Stretching our forearms. So if this doesn't feel good, just go east to west. Breathe. Just a breath or two. And then we'll turn it back for our spinal balance with a little crunch underneath. We'll stay on the same side, left hand, right foot. We'll do 10 of these little crunches underneath, knee to elbow and extensions. Joy, utmost happiness. Joy doesn't just, just happen to us though. We have to choose joy and keep choosing joy every day. Last one. Other side, maybe 10 here. If 10 doesn't feel like something you wanna do, you could do more or less. On the exhale, you're crunching slightly, engaging the core, keeping the rest of our body pretty strong and stable. Maybe three more here, depends where you're at. Back to child's pose or downward facing dog. Check in with your shoulders, how they're feeling. Child's pose, maybe a massage on the back of your neck. Great job. Let's inhale to all fours. Exhale to downward facing dog or stay in all fours. We'll move through our half series a couple times. Inhaling to full or kneeling plank. Exhaling, going halfway or all the way down. So chaturanga, up dog or cobra. Back down to our bellies or down dog from, from chaturanga or up dog. And back we go. Let's do it again. Inhale forward. Exhale halfway or all the way. Up dog or cobra. Back to your belly or down dog. And we'll flow through one more all on your own. Check in, how are your shoulders feeling? Mine are feeling sore from all of the extra sun salutations this week. So we might do that for you guys, an extra one or two. All right, looking up between the hands, we can walk, step or jump to halfway lift. Just practice walking and coming right into halfway lift on an inhale. Now exhale, step right back to plank. 
We're gonna flow between those two just to get the feel for it. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank. So your modifications, kneeling plank, step to halfway lift. So let's flow through breath for breath. It's an exhale to plank and inhale to halfway lift. It's like yoga burpees. And then just to make it funner, if you'd like to today, ladies, you'll exhale right back to chaturanga. Then go into up dog, then down dog. So sun salutations B, like I promised, we're gonna practice that today. And it has that jump back, but we're not there yet. Let's pull up our pants. It's like yoga burpees. <laughs> That's what those are. Big breath up. Let's bring our hands back behind us, widen up across the heart. Oh, feel how good that feels. And notice with the chest open, how the front of your body can get in a little more air. Just gonna make sure no one's stuck in our waiting room. Good. If you'd like to forward fold, you can. Let the head be heavy, let it hang down. We'll go to halfway lift on an inhale. Exhale to chair pose. Inhale to mountain. Good, exhale to chair. Inhale to mountain. That's another part of our B sun salutation. It's an inhale to chair, exhale to mountain. Last one. Wonderful. So let's do a few moonflowers and sunflowers, taking your left foot back. We'll turn our toes out towards those top corners of our mat, big breath up. Exhale, bend our elbows and bend our knees. Let's warm up our hips, warming up our knees, our elbows. If you'd like more sensation, thumbs touch at the top and your knees and elbows come together at the bottom. If you are taking care of your knees, of course, you don't wanna go down too far today. And make sure to modify as much as you can your practice to suit your body in the moment. Let's turn this into sunflowers and start to hinge through, still bending your knees. So when we do get to our, our new sun salutations we're trying this week, if you don't have to go breath for breath, you can take a couple breaths to get through the moves. Just try. Or if you're at home, if I can't see you, you could just have a cup of tea and watch. <laughs> get, get the feel for it and then try it next time. Last one. Let's step back up to the tops of our mats. Roll those shoulders back and down. Let's do it. Let's try a new sun salutation. New is good and fun. Yeah. Big, big breath up. Inhale. Exhale to forward fold. Halfway lift. Breathe in and step right back to chaturanga or kneeling plank. Up dog or hold your plank. Down dog. Meet me there. Now left foot comes between the hands. One inhale to lunge and one exhale right back to chaturanga or your plank. Up dog or cobra or hold your plank. Back to down dog, breathe out. Right foot between the hands. One inhale to lunge. One exhale to chaturanga or to your plank. Hold your plank or flow through an up dog. And a down dog, we'll all meet in down dog. Now we walk, step or jump to halfway lift. Inhale, exhale to chair, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> exhale to fold, inhale to chair. Exhale to mountain. All right, let's do it again. That was fun, right? Big breath up. Exhale, dive. Halfway lift, breathe in all the way to chaturanga or your plank on an exhale. Hold your plank or move into an up dog, down dog, everybody. Left foot between the hands, inhale to lunge. Exhale to chaturanga or hold your plank. Up dog or cobra, back to down dog. Right foot comes up between the hands, one inhale to lunge. 
and back to chaturanga or plank. Hold your plank, up dog or cobra, and then meet and down dog. Hop, step or jump, halfway lift, breathe in, exhale, fold, inhale, chair, exhale, mountain. Let's do it again, inhale, sweep, exhale, dive. Halfway lift, breathe in, all the way back on an exhale, chaturanga or plank, up dog or cobra or hold your plank, down dog, left foot between the hands, one lunge, inhale, and chaturanga or plank, exhale, up dog or cobra or hold your plank, down dog, left foot between the hands, Sorry, we did that one twice, but that's okay. Back to chaturanga or plank. Up dog or cobra. Back to down dog. Hop, step or jump, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, mountain. We've got two more, inhale, sweep. Exhale, dive. Halfway lift. Hop, step, or jump right back to your chaturanga or your plank. Up dog or cobra. Hold your plank or go to down dog. Right foot between the hands. One lunge as we come up. And then chaturanga or plank. Up dog or cobra. Down dog. Whew, left foot between the hands. Rise to lunge. Good job, ladies. Exhale, chaturanga or plank. Hold your plank or move through an up dog. Downward dog, exhale. Walk, step or jump up between the feet. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Inhale, chair. Exhale to mountain. We've got one more. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, dive into your fold. Halfway lift. All the way to Chungaranga or plank. Up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Left foot for your lunge. There's your breath in. Your breath out to Chaturanga or plank. Up dog or hold that plank. Down dog. Right foot between the hands. Take your lunge, a big breath in. Step it right back. Chaturanga or plank. You can hold your plank or flow into up dog. And then down dog. Woo wee, hop, step or jump up between the hands. Halfway lift. Fold, breathe out. Inhale to chair. Exhale to mountain. Great job. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, yes. Oh yeah, oh, there's a fan right there, Anne. If you want to crank that fan on, you can. So at home, I'm just going to turn the fans on here. We worked up a good sweat. Sun salutations B. There you go. Yeah, you can do that however you want. And then this one here too. Yeah, you're welcome. There you go. That guy going to work for us today? It was funny with me yesterday. Oh, well, there you go. How do I know how to make it turn? There. So this will go like that. Okay, everybody. Now that we've got our heart rate up, feeling good, we tried something new and different, and it was fun. I hope for everybody. Let's take the left foot up to the tops of our mats. Step our right foot back and our heels going down. So we're into our warrior one, rise up, bending our left knee, cactus arms today to stretch our chest, stretch our fingers, settle into our breath, check in with both of our feet, pressing into the mat, draw our navel in towards our spine, our shoulder blades slightly together, and we're extending through our elbows, breathe. That fan feels amazing. 
Let's lift our back heel and take our right elbow on top of our left into eagle arms or just your little hug. Left knee is still bending. If you'd like to add a little tip back, you can, but check in with how that feels. Our back quad is still strong. Open up our wings, thumbs face up. Exhale, bring them back behind us. Inhale, chest expansion. Exhale, humble warrior or a humble lunge, I guess. Our heel is up. Breathe. We'll bring our hands down to frame our front foot. Take our right knee down onto the mat. Top of the right foot on our mat. Clasp the hands or just bring them together. Rise up. Sink into this hip flexor. So the hips go forward. And if you want to add a crescent lunge, back bend, or hands stay right at your heart with no, with no bend. Framing our front foot, let's lift our back toe, push back to downward facing dog. Choosing to hold here, down dog, plank or child's pose, or flow through our half series, our plank, chaturanga or cobra. We'll be meeting back in downward facing dog. Take your time. In our downward dog today, really noticing the chest opening up towards the mat, our feet. Pressing equally into our hands and our feet and we've got a little bend in our knees. Gazing up between our hands, bringing the right foot up between the hands, back heel down at first. We rise up into our warrior one with our cactus arms and check in with our legs now, pressing into our feet, lengthening through our necks. Lifting our back heel, bringing our left elbow under our right, sinking down. We've still got lots of, not lots of weight, but half of your weight kind of shifting into your back foot as well. A little back bend is an option. Notice how the breath is a little bigger in the back of your body right now. We'll take our back heel back down onto the mat, bring our hands back behind us, open up and humble warrior. Still pressing into both of our feet. You could be looking at your front foot or gazing back at your back foot. Breathe. Honor the body today. Feel joy in your practice. Framing our front foot, lifting our back heel, placing the left knee down on the mat, top of the left foot as well. We'll rise up into our crescent lunge. So we want to shift this left hip flexor forward. And if it feels okay, we've got a little crescent lunge, or you can keep your hands at your heart and focus more on sinking into the legs. Oh, the legs are feeling good. We'll frame our front foot, tuck our back toes back onto the mat, push back to downward facing dog, where we can hold here. Go to child's pose or all fours or flow through your half series one time or get a drink if you need to. Making our way and meeting in downward dog. Looking up between the hands, this time the left foot coming up between the hands. If you've got a block, let's grab it for the top of our mat. On the inside of your left foot, we rise up to warrior two with our palms up. 
expanding the knee, the left knee. Do not need to block. <laughs> okay, cool. To the sea. Warrior two, feeling a little more open today, placing our palms to face the sky as we reach in opposite directions. Moving into side angle, where we can either stop left elbow onto knee, left hand onto floor, or left hand onto the ground, I mean your block. <laughs> and just for today, if you'd like to try something new, we'll point our fingertips of our left hand back towards our back foot instead. So stretching that forearm. Breathe, opening up, feeling the strength of our legs, both of our legs taking on some of the weight of our body. We'll turn our fingertips back, look at our front foot, lift our back heel as we face the mat again, and step to chair pose or take a break in mountain in between. Into our chair. Breathe. Opening up cactus arms for our chair today. And then we'll flow. Exhale, touch them together. Forearms, if they come together, open. Shifting the weight back. Feeling your quadriceps. I don't know if it's just me from all the yoga, but mine are definitely feeling it. All right, let's bring our hands to our hips. Step your left foot back this time. Left heel goes down. We move into our warrior two on the other side. Your right knee is bending. Softening through our shoulders. Checking in with our knees just to make sure they haven't gone to the outside or the inside of that ankle or, or foot. Settle in. Think of reaching in opposite directions whilst the shoulders settle down from the ears. Feeling open to new things, to joy. Bringing more joy in, sending more joy out. We'll be moving into side angle where we can take our right elbow either onto our knee, our right hand down onto a block or down to the mat and our left hand goes up. Our right knee is still bending. And if you'd like to today, turning our fingertips back towards our back heel. Check in if you're taking care of your back or your top arm, you wanna tuck it back behind you. We'll turn our fingertips back, lift our back heel as we frame our front foot. Stepping back to down dog, plank, or child's pose. Choosing now to flow or take a little rest if you want to. We'll be meeting back in downward facing dog. Take your time. I am. <laughs> Hop, step, or jumping to halfway lift. Exhale, folding, inhale, chair, exhale, mountain. All right, so our one of our peak poses or our balance pose today is dancer. I wanted to give you a few opportunities to do different, part, different things with your dancer. So if you wanted to use a strap, it would be going, that's a large circle. It'll be going around your right ankle if you wanna use a strap today and over your right shoulder or you're just grabbing your foot for your dancer's pose. So you can be grabbing it or using a strap today, whatever works for you. Show lots of modifications, or you can have a nice quad stretch just like this. So we'll notice in our dancer um, that our knee right now, our right knee, it's right underneath our hip. So as we move through this pose, being mindful not to let it open up out to the side, even when we do tip. 
And that's where we're going next. So our straps on our right foot and we can start to tip. You can hold on to it with your hand or take your strap. This is where it gets tricky with the strap. Walking our hands up for our strap. This is where it gets a little tricky if you've got the strap. If not, you've got your dancer's pose like a so. Chest opener. Well, mostly on that right side of your chest right now as your right hand's reaching back or you've got your strap. Oh, okay. Okay, let it go. Let that one go. Let's rock the hips and we'll do it on, on the other side. So if you're using your strap, it's on your left foot. The little circle is on your left foot. Without the straps, a little bit easier, yeah, I would say. Well, because we're working towards one day maybe grabbing our foot with our two hands. So that's why we're trying that today. One day. Let's either use our strap or no strap. So if you bring your left foot into your hand, try to then bring your hand to the inside of your left foot. And we start to hinge into our dancer. Your other hand could reach up or you're trying the strap today. Trying not to force it. Great work. And let's release, come up. Whew. We'll move our straps off to the side. Yes, yes, we sure do. All right, so some of you have been practicing our little crow a little tiny bit. So we're gonna move in down into our wide squat. I will grab you another block. So you might want two blocks. So for you guys at home, just get into your wide squat with a block underneath you or a pillow. I'm gonna show you a couple modifications for it today with one. And do you need a couple blocks? Okay. We're gonna be tapping our forehead to it today for our crow. Yeah. So you can kind of have one that you're sitting on and one that'll be at the top of your mat. There we go. This is a really good stretch for your hips. Yeah. This wasn't part of my original plan, but I feel like doing crow today. So here we are. We could be here up with or without our block. And before you go into it, I'm going to show you what the block back here would be used for if you choose to use it. It'll be used for. If you're trying your crow out to put your toes on it so it just lifts you up a little bit to come into your crow without having to actually fly up into your crow okay so wide squat we tuck and press our inner knees onto the backs of our arms and the key is as my husband likes to say is to look forward not to look back so you look forward, we come onto the toes, squeeze, maybe tap your head on your block just for today. You tap, squeeze, or you can lift up a foot or two. Check in. Some days crows fly, sometimes they don't. All right. You can stay in your squat if you're still feeling okay for your hips. Let's stretch our wrists out, tuck our thumbs in, give a little stretch. And then right hand to mat, left hand up. Check in if that doesn't feel good, just put your hand on your knee. And then the other side, you can reach it up or put your hand on your knee. Okay, my friends, we've made it. Bring those knees together and take a little rest in child's pose. We're on the mat now, we're not getting back up. You will possibly want those two blocks nearby. 
All right, so you're in your child's pose. Focusing on the chest expansion. Wonderful, we'll come up to all four so that we shift our hips on top of our knees and we'll take our blocks, one on either side, kind of where our hands were. And we're moving into puppy pose. So our elbows go down and we bring the chest towards the floor. Really big chest openers, great for your posture. Settle in. Feel some joy. Feel your heart. Try to let that chest stretch down towards the mat. job. All right, we'll be bringing our hands forward and shifting our weight forward right down onto our bellies. Right down onto your belly. So if you're taking care of your back for your back bend, sorry, Stella. There we go. You can have a chat your block under your chest. We do seal pose today. See me. So our hands go a little bit wider than our shoulders. And we use the weight or the strength of our back to lift us up. This is our seal pose. Our legs are engaged and strong. You can have no weight in your fingertips if you want to. And we're looking somewhere on the floor in between our hands. If there was a line there. Now we'll move into locust. If you want to bring your hands back behind you. You can clasp them or use your strap if they don't quite get together. We draw ourselves up and maybe even our kneecaps off the mat, but they're still facing the floor, as is our gaze. Nice long neck. Oh, beautiful. Let's bring those hands under our shoulders. Push it up and back to child's pose. Let's do a wide leg child's pose. Lots of space for our body. Feel your lungs expand with each breath in, like an umbrella opening. All right, let's make our way to a seated position. So shifting forward, we'll bring our hips down and sweep our feet around to the front. So if you have your strap handy, you can use that today or a block if you're at home. Let's do our forward fold. Namaste. You could wrap it like so. Some space. And then we pull ourselves just slightly into it a little bit more. If you want to walk your hands closer to your feet, you can or bring your hands to your feet. Lengthening our spine. Joy. Feeling when we're folded forwards, a little more openness in the back of our body to breathe. Great job, everybody. All right, let's bring it on up and move into our boat pose with our strap today, with or without your strap. So it's under our feet or you're holding onto your legs for your boat pose. Because if anyone wants to try our pike, it's a little bit easier with your strap to kind of hold it up there. Breathe. Right, we'll get rid of our strap. Soles of the feet go down onto the mat and we lift up into our, our tabletop. Or you could go down onto your shoulder blades for bridge pose instead. 
reaching our chest again, right up for the sky as we press into both of our feet. You can be looking up at the ceiling. If you wanna be really careful with your neck, maybe keeping your chin in line with your chest and just gazing between your knees. Really feeling the openness across the chest again. Let's bring it down to a seated position again. Our butterfly pose, soles of our feet come together. There's a bound angle here. Well, we won't do that. I'm not sure if everyone has giant long straps at home to do that. Um, okay, so our butterfly pose. Let's relax those shoulders down. Feel the length of your neck. Notice your breath. Settling in. Utmost happiness. That is what joy describes. Relax the hips. Lengthen the spine, but keep the chest open. Beautiful, amazing job, everybody. We can add a little twist on today, left knee or left hand to right knee. Your block you can go back behind you if you want to use that to keep your spine long as you press into it. Check in with continuing to relax our knee, our hips. Let's bring our chin around, our chest around, unravel, just so that we can twist back up to the other side. And I say it a lot, twists are really good for your digestion. Amazing. All right, let's bring our chin around, our chest around. Draw those knees in. We're going to do restorative fish. So if you're at home and you don't have a block, a couple pillows will do, or well, a soup can or a book or something like that. So I'll show you first what it is. We're going to be in that nice little restorative fish for probably at least four or five minutes. One block goes between your shoulder blades. So put it there. Takes a minute to get set up, as you can see. This goes between your shoulder blades somewhere, wherever you want it to go. Kind of the top part, and then your head gets supported by your other block. So make any adjustments that you need to to feel good. Might take a few tries to get into it. Oh, there we go. So a regular fish, which we don't usually do in this practice, you have no blocks and you're lifting up the weight of your body kind of with your shoulder, your elbows and even your head. So that's why we don't do it here just because it's a little hard on the neck. So we're, we're restoring our fish today. <sighs> Take all the time that you need to get settled in. Yep. Yeah, you can have your other block, whatever height you need it to be. And if it doesn't feel good, well, you can switch it up a bit. New, new things today. <sighs> Take your time to feel some space across the chest. And while you're there for the next to well, about three more minutes, I'll read to you a little bit about joy. Just a little bit, a few quotes. Joy. Joy describes utmost happiness. 
and the experiences of delight. You can see it in children, joy, wonder. And it's simple and it's pure. We can experience joy every single day if we open our hearts and minds to recognizing and noticing those moments of joy, those little sparks each day, each week, appreciating the beauty in the day-to-day -day things, taking moments to reflect on your achievements and your well-being. We can experience joy during our yoga classes by acknowledging and encouraging happiness with every breath. Take a moment to consider a few things that bring you joy. Maybe it's an experience something that's happened to you recently. Hold that feeling close to your heart. And set an intention today to embrace joy through your day maybe through your yoga practice or your daily life. Choosing joy. Let's take our time, maybe bending our knees at first in this pose. You can take as much time as you need to perhaps roll over onto one side to roll off your blocks. We'll make our way, take the blocks out and we're right back onto our backs, taking a rock side to side, massaging our lumbar spine down into mother earth. While we breathe in some of that life-giving air created by nature. Of course, we maybe wanna try our happy baby today for a joyful practice. Babies are full of joy, pureness. So our hands can be on the backs of our legs or the insides or outsides of our feet, peace fingers to our big toes. Take a little rock side to side or hold steady. Amazing. Let's extend our legs long down the length of our mat. We can rock a little bit our hips. That feels nice. So we're in our Shavasana pose. If you'd like to add in another pose or asana here, you can. Maybe it's a twist or an inversion if that's part of your practice in a safe way. And we'll take a moment to settle in and get ready for our guided meditation today on kindness, loving kindness. Get comfortable. We could be flat on our backs or maybe a block under our head if you want to or underneath each knee if you have two blocks. Oh, Willie's leading us right into our meditation here. Willie Nelson. Starting to notice and allow the body a rest and the mind a rest.
take a moment to think, to contemplate what makes your heart sing. Swimming, checking out a bookstore, dancing, yoga. At least once, maybe every season. Check in to see what you are prioritizing. Making time in your life for something that you truly enjoy. Just as you would tell your close friends to take time to tend to their happiness. You can show the same care to yourself. Honoring who we are by listening to our hearts. As we move through our meditation today, going slowly, allow feelings and emotions to flow through you. Bring your attention inward. And feel as if your deeper self is sending you love. Repeat silently to yourself twice. May I be safe. May I be free from pain. May I be happy. Send yourself loving feelings and repeat. May I be safe. May I be free from pain. May I be happy. Now turning our attention to someone, a loved one, perhaps someone who needs a little extra support. Feel that person in your heart as you picture them in your mind's eye. Ask, may they be safe. May they be free from pain. May they be happy. Repeating this, sending love to that person. May they be safe. May they be free from pain. May they be happy. Now thinking of a neutral person, someone that you don't know very well, you don't have good or bad feelings towards, and it's okay, even if you don't know them. For example, someone you saw on TV, send that person loving thoughts as you picture them and say, may they be safe. May they be free from pain. May they be happy. Now thinking of a person who has caused some tension, maybe some difficulty in your life. Don't think about it too much, but select a person to whom you would, wouldn't necessarily send loving thoughts to. You don't need to condone any behavior, just picture this person, this human being, and send them kind and loving thoughts. Notice the emotions that arise and breathe through them. May they be safe. May they be free from pain. May they be happy. Lastly, think of all beings everywhere, all of our relatives, the animals, the people. You can envision the world or the universe. He's a small ball a little globe and send heartfelt loving kindness to all our relatives on the globe, everyone, everywhere, all of us connected. May all beings be safe. May all beings be free from pain. May all beings 
be happy. Bringing your kind and gentle awareness back to your breath. Feeling sensations in your body without judgment, just a gentle noticing. Take as much time as you need today to open your eye, to move your head side to side, make some small and gentle movements to our hands and our feet, our toes and our fingers. When you're ready, rolling over onto one side, take your time getting there. There's no rush. From there, we'll be moving up into an easy seated position. Either crisscross or we could have our legs out, um, out a little bit straighter for taking care of our knees. A big breath up, inhale. Exhale, draw the hands to heart. So we've got a few more of those big breaths as we inhale. And we exhale away any last bits of tension, any last bits of negativity, and really draw in joy today. Notice it in the world, in the things, in the people. And if it feels okay, we can bow down. And thank you so much for coming today. Namaste. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Thanks, everybody at home for tuning in. I'll post it again later on the YouTube channel if you want to go there. I hope everybody had a good time. I see Caroline had to leave. She's going to get Starbucks. So oh, fun meeting the girls. Have fun. Bye, ladies. Bye, Lee. Bye, Bye Anna. thanks. Bye, Linda, Marla, Maxine, Kathy. Yeah.